Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy. Damn, get out the way. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, YT Strong Gamer, man. Coming back at you with the next video here today. And yo, shout out to everybody who watched the last video. I got like 27,000 views on that video when I was expecting like 200 viewers. You know what I mean? Because like, cause everybody posted the glitch, but um, a lot of you guys are saying that the college game is patched because due to the fact that um, uh, it was a little update. So, let me see. So... I'm gonna show you this after patch one point. Uh, how do you see information? All right, cool. So as you guys can see, this is this is after patch um one point zero seven. And yeah, so you guys can check. Latest update was yesterday. I just seen it right there. Hold on, let me go to information. Um, so latest update was yesterday at ten thirty seven a.m. All right, so this is after patch. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. A lot of you guys saying like you can't follow because the game will like the quest will cancel. But I'm about to show you guys right now how to do like how to just keep getting college games over and over and over. All right, so let me stop talking. So first things first, what you wanna do is right, you wanna go to your quest and make sure you just select it. All right, so you don't need this, you don't need this, you don't need this. So all you need is this right, your college flashbacks. All right. Then what you wanna do is you wanna walk inside your house or your penthouse, whatever you wanna call it. You can talk to Rebecca. Heck of a win all right last night. now before you talk to rebecca just go here go to go to settings change this to hall of fame all right for the sake of the video i'm just going to leave it at five minutes then just gonna just skip this cutscene right here thanks for doing so, this boom. MP. thank you buddy. all right then you should get like the little introduction with Whichever team you picked, I picked UCLA. Hey, I'm just gonna skip I, it, hold X. Just pick any challenges, it doesn't matter what challenge you pick, just pick any challenge. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in the game right now, alright? So, what you wanna do is press X right here, skip this cutscene, and then just wait for them to um, inbound the ball. So, I press pause, go to CPU slider. So, as you guys can see, CPU sliders are still here. A lot of people are saying like they don't see the option. It's still here. I'm gonna press. I'm gonna hold down this and show you guys right now. This is all like live, no cuts, no edits. So as you guys can see, 0.7. All right. So let's go back to the game. CPU sliders. Press triangle. Wait for it to load. Press triangle. Search online ID. I'm gonna search the same as the last game. I mean, that's the last video, so you type in baked, capital T, capital V, download. All right, as you guys can see, CPU sliders for thing is set to default for Hall of Fame, and this is set to 100. Now, I was doing some testing. You guys could change this down here, so if you guys are like a smaller build, you guys, you guys could change this right here. So just, um, just max out your speed, so like it could be easier for you guys to dunk. So I'm just going to max all this out right here. Speed without ball. Speed without ball. You just want to be quick as possible, all right? It's not going to affect nothing. The only thing that's affect um, the Hall of Fame is if you change CPU sliders. But you're going to leave it the same. Press circle, all right? You get the, you're going to get a steal right here. Or you can press a touchpad and fall out. Either or. So, the quickest way is to get two technical fouls. So, what you want to do is call for the ball. Call for the screen. Just try to just try to hit the paint. I got fouled right there, but as you guys can see, the sliders do work. So, it looks like they're going to play heavy in the paint. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the touchpad method. So, I'm just going to press the touchpad. It's going to force a foul. I think you only need four fouls. So, I'm going to just walk up here. Close to the guy, because he's, he's going to pass it to him. And I'm just gonna press the touchpad. Gonna do the same thing. Just run all the way to him. Just wait right here. Press the touchpad again. I think it puts him in the bonus. Nope. Or what you could do too is right. Let him let them inbound the ball. Go for the steal. Oh, okay, he hit that. Oh, he missed. You can go for the, st the steal and go on a fast break and try to get two technical fouls. You can call for ISO and get your teammates to spread the floor, but right here, as you guys can see, it's going to hold R2. Don't let go, just hold R2. 
And then that's the first foul right there. Then just gonna make these free throws right here. Just try to get a steal, go on a fast break, and then you should be straight. So just wait for them to inbound the ball. Okay. Got the steal. What the? I got the animation, but no steal. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing again. So you're gonna call for the screen, then we're cross. Go to the paint. Alright. I don't know why I cannot dunk, bro. I'm 6'8. Like, what's up with this game? But it is what it is. I'm gonna just follow. I think I need one more follow, and that's it. I just either need one more follow or one more technical follow, and that's it. I'm good. Come on, man. Shoot. Alright, let's go. Cool. So same thing as before, you're going to try to go for a dunk. So I think it's better if you stand at the top of right here. Set your feet. Run. Blow by. Oh my goodness, bro. What, what, who is this guy? LeBron James? Like, what the fuck? <sighs> Job step. Nah. Oh my goodness, I have 99 speed. I have 100 speed when I'm like running so slow. And I missed that. Alright, whatever. Follow. Get me out the game. Get me out the game. Get me out the game. Personal foul. Wait, is there one more foul? Okay, I followed out. Alright, cool. So you hold X. Alright. You just want to hold X. Alright. And then the cutscene. You're going to get the cutscene right here. It's going to show you like how, how you did or whatever. I only scored eight points. I got 1,250 um, my points or whatever you want to call it. I think my dunking badge should go up a little bit. Yeah, just went up like my like a centimeter or whatever. All right, so you're going to hold X right here. And then you should get this screen that says uh, objective fail. All right, this is what you want. You want to you wanna hold X, quit, and then you know you did the glitch correctly that you did the sliders, you did your settings, and you're able to, um, you're able to talk to the Rebecca again or whatever this her name is. So as you guys can see, awesome. if I wanted to, I could go here and press X and talk to her, all right? Let me move my, um, <clears throat> let me move my social so you guys can see. Like, I could talk to her right there, all right? But what you wanna do is you wanna go here, play next game, Miami Heat, play game. It's gonna teleport you to the stage. I mean, not the stage, the stadium. You want to run all the way down here, and then you should be able to walk in and continue playing my career, all right? Now, I'm still working on a video on how to bypass, let's skip the prelude. So um, just give me until tonight or tomorrow morning, and I'll have the video out. But as you guys can see, uh, you could play your next game, but I'm not going to play my next game because... I already have all my badge except for like one slashing badge, which is fine. And my attributes are like decent. Like I really don't need a 86 dunk and stuff right like that right now. You know what I mean? But yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy, and I'm out. Oh yeah. And I forgot to mention, I'm still in the same like I'm still in the same game or whatever. Um. So. Some people were saying, how is it unlimited? So basically, um, you could keep playing my career. So like I could play like right now if I really want to, uh, my career. I could play all these games with the sliders. Well, it only ends right here. But I could play all these games um, with the sliders. But if I close up or um, like, for example, if I close up right now, right, and load the game back up, I will lose the slider. So I basically lost the sliders. Now... For me to get the sliders back, all I have to do is what I did at the beginning of the video. Go to the college, go to the college um, door. I mean, just do the college quest, set your thing to Hall of Fame, file out, and then, you know what I mean? It's it's cool. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, here, uh, I'm gonna show you it right now, all right? So as you guys can see, I'm gonna load up the same build. Uh, I don't care. Load up this, small four, yes. And I, they should spawn me back in the NBA like stadium whatever you call it 
Oh no, they spawn me right back in here. So boom, it's perfect. So as you guys can see, before you do the college uh, flashback quest or whatever you want to call it, you're gonna press pause, settings, scroll down to setting yeah, settings. It's on pro. Remember I set it to Hall of Fame, put it to Hall of Fame. If you want to do 12 minutes, by all means. Then you're gonna press X. As you guys can see, X still let me remove my socials one more time. I could talk to the lady and do the college quest, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm about to go play park. But yeah, that's basically it. And it's the same build, same everything. Like remember the badge count or whatever. I only need one like one more slashing badge or whatever, but it is what it is. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy, and I'm out. Follow my socials on screen right here. If you have any questions, DM me and I got you with a video tomorrow.